Hi everyone and welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts. Today we're going to be making a calendar. I saw this really cool moon calendar mold from Amazon so I thought we'll try it out today. So here are the supplies. First is the mold. This is a three piece mold. So we have the calendar piece here and then the front and the back of the holder. I'll be using some purple alcohol ink and some glitter also in purple. I have some mica powder from Let's Resin. I'll be using epoxy resin from Tea Expert. Some black acrylic paint, a really cool teal feather. And to speed up the curing process, I'll be using the Tea Expert Resin Speed Cure. So to start, we're going to place each of the molds in a tray. So these pieces are pretty big, so each tray only fits one piece. So here is the bottom piece. And before we do the middle piece, let's go ahead and paint it with some micro powder. So we're going to be using two colors. I have olive and blue. So we're going to take our powder and just paint the insides like this. And you want to make sure to get the sides too. Okay, here's the second layer all painted. And here's the top layer. Next, let's go ahead and mix our epoxy resin. This one is from Tea Expert. We need to stir it for three to five minutes and the working time is 30 to 40 minutes. And we do want to mix it one to one by volume. And as always, anytime you are working with epoxy resin, make sure to wear gloves and also be in a well ventilated room and or wear a respirator. Here, I'm just pouring the two parts together and I'm gonna mix it with my electric mixer which is really amazing. I just can't do without it nowadays. Let's start with this top layer. So this is going to be the top of our calendar. And what I wanted to do was place a feather in it. So I have this really pretty teal feather and I've never worked with a feather before. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I don't think I want to put the resin in first and then put in the feather because it might get sticky and the feathers might clump up. But I think what I can do is um, let's actually put the feather down first and then pour the resin. So my problem here is this feather is not curving the way I want it to. I kind of want it to be like this. It's not quite staying in that position. So I'm just going to try my best and put the feather in curved like this and then pour the resin over it. So hopefully this does not become too messy. I'm just going to pour another resin and anchor this top part down. And hopefully the resin weighs the feather down so that we don't get any movement after we pour. And here, let's go ahead and keep pouring. And pour the resin in the rest of the way and fill it up to the top. Here's the next layer. This one we're just going to pour it straight in. Make sure to check for bubbles, especially along the edges. For the last layer, we're going to add some purple glitter. This is so pretty. Look at this. And for a bit more color, we're going to add some purple ink. Oh, this turned out really pretty. And we're going to fill the entire bottom cavity. So after looking at this mold, I'm just realizing that this top layer actually needs to be opaque. So that way we won't see all the numbers underneath um, before the right date. So this feather here is not enough because there's not enough coverage. So what I'm going to do is add some alcohol ink and um, hopefully create some colors over here to hide the background. So I'm just dropping some colors here and hopefully it doesn't become too muddied. Then I'm going to take a stick and we're going to Mix the colors a little bit. And 
Okay, so hopefully I didn't ruin this project. Now let's go ahead and put the lid on and start the machine. Okay, let's come back in a few hours and check on the progress. All right, everyone, it's been a few hours and we're ready to demold. So here are the three pieces. Here's the bottom, here's the top piece, and here are the rings for the middle. So let's go ahead and start with this bottom piece. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Look how glittery it is. Here are the inner rings. Here are the moon phases. Here are the days of the week. There's a little bit of overflow here, so we can just trim it with scissors. And here on the inside, we're going to trim it with an X-Acto knife. So here are the 12 months. And here are the days of the month. So when everything's inside, this is what it looks like. Here are the days on the outside. We have the months here, the weeks, and the moon phases. And they freely rotate. And here's the top piece. And here's the top piece. So we have our feathers, our alcohol inks, and the little gaps here for you to see the date. So to put the pieces together, what you want to do is line up these little nubs here with the holes and then it'll work like this. You can turn the dates, the months, and the week and the moon phase and have it show in the window. So the next thing we want to do is make these stand out a lot more. And I'm going to be using some black paint. I'm going to take our paint and just fill the inside. Then with the baby wipe, we're going to quickly swipe across to remove any excess. And for the ones here with the larger cavities, we're going to fill it back in with more paint. Okay, let's set it down to the side to dry. And we're going to do the same with all of them. So much better. Now you can see it. All right, and this ring is done. Now for the months. Here are the 12 months. And finally, we have the days of the month. All right, that's the last of it. Let's assemble everything. So to seal the pieces together, we'll want to use some glue. So we're gonna put glue on the purple parts, these little rings in here, and then put this on top. That way the rings on the inside can freely rotate. To do this, I'll be using some super glue. My glue's a little thick, so I'm gonna use an old paintbrush. And here we have it, we have our calendar. Here, let's switch to today's date. I think today's the 8th. So January 8th is a Sunday, and I'm not too sure about the moon phases yet, but we can always rotate it if it's not correct. And what I love is that this is actually pretty big, so you can hang it up or display it on your desk. So 
So there are a few lessons learned here. First, the top layer needs to be completely opaque. So your design needs to be bright and opaque so that you don't see through it because the only dates you want to see is through here and not through the resin. As you can see here for this project, the feather is almost invisible. So you want to make sure your design is bright and bold so it stands out. The back can be solid or clear, it's up to you but the front piece has to be opaque or solid. Here's the mold for the top piece and the most important part is to keep these windows clear. So I did have a little bit of leaking over this top ridge here and so I had to cut that out. And also when you pour the resin, make sure to poke a toothpick in here to clear out any bubbles. It's very likely that you will get bubbles so make sure to clear it out with a stick. And for the rings, make sure to also run a toothpick around the letters to clear any of the bubbles there and also you do not want to overfill this because if you overfill it it might become too thick to put inside the two pieces so you do want to have a little bit of space so that you can rotate this all right everyone so what do you think of my calendar do you like it i think this turns out pretty well but i think i can do a better one next time so if you like these videos and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!